tomorrow we have a really, really long driving day. So in this video, we're going to show you how we prepare for long travel days. So right now it's the middle of April and we are still down in Arizona in the Quartzsite area where we've been camping out during the COVID-19 pandemic so far. And it's really worked out pretty well for us. We've been able to isolate really well, far away from other people, but the weather is just getting too hot and we're going to have to move. So we've got a friend with some land up in Idaho and tomorrow we're going to be making the very long journey all the way from here in Quartzsite all the way to Idaho. Now this is a lot further than we would normally like to drive in a day. Ideally, we try to keep our driving days to under 200 miles or so. Um, tomorrow is a lot more than that. And the reason for that is just we want to get from here to there as quickly as possible with as few stops as possible to avoid any interactions that we don't absolutely have to have. But in order to do such a long journey, we want to make sure that we've prepared everything we can to be comfortable and safe on the road. So tomorrow morning, we're going to be leaving here at about 4 a.m. That's about an hour or two before sunrise, and that means we'll be setting off in the dark. After that, we should arrive before sunset, so the rest of the day will be in the daylight hours. But we don't really want to be hooking up the truck and the trailer in the dark tomorrow morning. So this afternoon, we are going to get things ready so that in the morning, all we have to do is wake up, throw some clothes on, and as quickly as possible, we can hit the road. Let's get started. So we want to get as much done tonight as possible. So I'm going to go and start hooking the truck and the trailer up together. Meanwhile, Diana inside is going to pull the slide in because we need to raise the stabilizers up so that we can actually hook the truck and trailer up. But then once they're hooked up again, we can put the stabilizers back down and put the slide out. And that way in the morning, we'll just have as little to do as possible. I'm preparing food for tomorrow so that we have to spend as little time as possible during the stops. So I made a loaf of adventure bread so that will go in the oven. This is great for snacks in the car or for breakfast, uh, avocado toast. I also made a batch of hummus that we normally make from scratch. We usually make um, the garbanzo beans from scratch in an instant pot and then that makes three portions of the beans. We put them uh, portioned out in the freezer. So this morning we just took out one of those portions out and I uh, blended them in with tahini, lemon juice and spices to make a portion of um, hummus, which then we can eat either with chips or we can eat it with tortillas as a um, lunch. Now I'm going to chop um, stuff for potato salad. That is another one of our favorites that we can make ahead of time and then eat on the way. And then we took out a portion of uh, chili from the freezer and then we'll put it in the fridge overnight so that's another quick meal that we can make on the road and uh, we will also pack some uh, granola bars and uh, crackers and snacks for the car and uh, drink wise we'll have obviously we'll have some water but we'll also drink a lot of tea along the way and while I do this Matt is going to go and clean up the truck okay so we have everything inside just about tidied up now those are the last few little things to go in so hopefully then in the morning it's just a case of getting up Getting dressed, uh, we've got the, the mugs of tea ready to go next to the kettle there. Uh, we've got the adventure bread is just cooling down so we can slice that. And then in the fridge we've got some more food for the journey that Diana was working on earlier. Then outside... So out here we now have the truck hooked up to the trailer. We've got the stabilizer jacks down, we've got the tongue jack down. We're actually really lucky here. We are just about level enough that the truck and trailer can hook up like this. And I only had to raise the, the tongue on the trailer about an inch. So there's almost no extra weight on there. That's just really lucky, which really helped us out. We've put away the portable solar panel. We've got the uh, stabilizer jacks down still because we've got the slide out. And then in the morning, all we need to do is pull the slide in, pull the stabilizer jacks up, pull the tongue jack up, and uh, pull the Anderson levelers out as we, as we get off those. And then a couple of things I have done uh, up front here. Um, I've unplugged the seven pin connector. I've just left that lying there like that. 
we can uh, plug that back in in the morning and that way there's just no risk. We're having some battery issues with the truck. I just didn't want to risk them being connected just in case anything happens and the, the truck battery starts to drain. It, I'm sure it would have been fine, but this way we do a check in the morning anyway. And then the propane is also on. We will turn that off uh, in the morning before we leave because right now that's still powering the fridge overnight. Tomorrow when we're driving, because it's such a long day, we're gonna turn the fridge to AC mode and we will run the fridge off electricity the whole way. With the solar on the roof and the truck charger as well, we'll have no problems whatsoever in, uh, in keeping the, the batteries topped off and the fridge running. So yeah, then inside the truck, uh, we kind of like to tidy things up a bit. So back here, the, uh, the truck's just a little bit tidier than it was before. We, we kind of use it as storage a little bit when we're, we're parked up for a while, like we have been for the last month or so. Just keep some spare boxes and things in here. So we've tidied all that up now. And, uh, and you've got a pillow so that whoever's not driving can get, get some sleep if they need to. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be our view for uh, a long time tomorrow. The last thing to mention is just in terms of other preps that we do. So uh, normally we check the tire pressures as well. Uh, we have a TPMS inside the truck, so that checks the, the tires pretty well. We get a reading as soon as we start rolling. I actually checked all the tire pressures and inflated them uh, just a few days ago. So I know they're all good right now. And, uh, and just on the off chance anything has happened in the last few days, our TPMS will tell us in the morning. So now the alarm is set for 3.45 a.m. in the morning, so it's going to be a really, really early start. But we hope that by 4 a.m. we can be rolling and on the road. So we'll see you in the morning. Okay, so the alarm went off this morning at 3.45 a.m. and uh, we quickly got things ready inside. Everything from the previous night was all there, ready to go. Uh, and we had wheels rolling at just after 4 a.m. I think it was about 4.01 we, uh, we started hitting the road. And, uh, and yeah, it's now uh, just coming up to 9 a.m. We're making great, great time. We have done about 270 miles already. Uh, so we're now north of Vegas. So far, everything's been going great. Uh, we are kind of running on the top half of the gas tank. So rather than draining all the way down, we're just trying to use that top half, um, which is gonna be really important on some of these longer stretches where gas stations are fewer and far between. And that way, if we do get to one and it's closed or there's a problem, uh, we're not caught without, without gas. Um, so we've stopped twice so far for gas. Uh, we had a bit of a snack for breakfast in the car. We had some adventure bread with some avocado. Um, and yeah, just making really, really good time. We're now on, I think, our second cup of tea. Well, at least I am anyway, on my second cup of tea. And uh, so far things are good, but we've still got, what, another 600 plus miles to go. So a long drive ahead of us still. Next gas, 78 miles. It is just after one o'clock and we just had lunch. And it's been nine hours uh, since we left this morning and it actually feels totally fine. It actually, I can't believe that we already been on this road for nine hours. The fuel economy is 6.6, .6, which is about what we expected when towing uh, at the speed limit. And we climbed from about 1,000 feet in Quartzsite, Arizona to over 7,000 feet uh, in Nevada. So hopefully now fuel economy improve as we descend that hill because Idaho is at much lower elevation. I mentioned a couple times adventure bread and you might be curious what is that? I lived in San Francisco for many years and um, one of my favorite coffee shops and bakeries was called The Mill. It was on the Zadero and every time I went there I got this a loaf of adventure bread which is a nut and seed bread after moving away from San Francisco, I, I kind of missed it. So I um, found a recipe online from that bakery and I started making it at home. And it's been a hit. It's uh, pretty easy to make. It's 
uh, a base of oats and uh, chia seeds and flax seeds and nuts, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. So now I like to bake it whenever uh, we're doing long car journeys because it is a great snack in the car. I also like to eat it uh, for breakfast time to time with avocado or sometimes, for example, as a slice of bread with a uh, soup. So we made it, our long travel day went as planned and we had arrived to Idaho still in the daylight. Yeah, we have done 899 miles today. We arrived just before sunset. It's been a really, really long day, but it went super well. We had no issues whatsoever. The truck and the trailer both did fine. We actually had some pretty strong crosswinds at one point on the, on the drive up from Twin Falls to Idaho. Didn't matter, the truck and the trailer, they, they just pulled straight through it. I was really, really impressed. So really happy with that. And, uh, and yeah, we've landed in our new shelter-in-place spot. And now it is definitely a bedtime for us. Yes, it is nine o'clock now, um, but it feels later, I think, just because we've had such a long day. So yeah, off to bed. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more RV adventures. In the next video, we'll be giving our RV a new look.